Might have to be a while since I've got a video up and it. So, I thought I'd give you a quick update on all the progress. In fact, I've got progress down here. So I don't know how much I showed you last time, but I'm starting to fill out the storage room. And the master storage room starting to get a few more chests in it. And as for this, oh, don't want to fall off. It's all down to bedrock now. And I've started going out the area to make the dome. Like from the last day uh, in the savannah world, the savannah, savannah spawn rather, I dug it down and made a big dome at the bottom. I made my branch mine down there. You can see I've laid out the edges of the branch mine of coal. I've just got to go down, dig down, and then make the branch mine. But that's made a lot easier now because I get an to supply these. We end the chest in there, I'll explore that later. Yep, cow just a lot there. So we've got villagers trapped here, a weaponsmith, a looting sword, which is not too bad, by four of them, and you get a looting free sword, which is good for withers. Got a smite sword there, and a diamond axe there, which is not too bad. Got my tailsmith here. Who gives me silk touch spades and efficiency free and breaking free picks, which is a really good deal. The farmer gets me emeralds, the cleric he gets me all my glowstone, eye vendors for ender chests, and the portal, lapis, redstone, and I can sell rotten flesh to him. Overall, he's a brilliant guy. Now, excuse me, I'm getting away from all this noise. The only problem is it's located right below my cow farm. <laughs> right, you can see there's like oak trees about. My brother started planting them to get oak wood so he can make oak tree farm, blah blah blah. This is covered in trees. But as you can see, it's just a simple drop trap. There's only two layers on it. But it still does. It's sufficient for us now to get me resources that I need. Right here is the village, it's booming. I had to put gates up because somehow the zombies got across. I don't know if one of the zombies pushed another one over the carpet and they managed to walk in or they no longer don't see carpet as a path. But we've got to feed these guys to protect them anyway. And my little villager kill system here should be damn it. Put a minecart in there, just push a villager in, put a minecart there, push it, he gets caught inside, gets taken up there. Go away. Right, thank you. So we've got a crap ton of villagers in there. And at least spreading out a bit now, they're not all cramped in one corner. <laughs> so up there, right, minecart, we'll go up here, do 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 do, pass through here. Comes here, hits the activator rail, the villager gets ejected, and there's these trapdoors here, and they'll eventually just wander across and fall in, or I can just come up and push them in. Doesn't matter. Now I'll go into end, the end of portal and and get another side there is a kill mechanism. Shush use. Yeah, ha ha ha. It's like, go farm. Go farm. Good boy. As you see there's a lot of potatoes here. For some reason they favour planting potatoes. I don't know, but if it keeps him breeding, I'm happy with that. As you can also see, I put a bit of dirt on top of the pumpkin, so they don't climb up on top of it and fall off onto the tilled land. Dee dee dee. Right, I've been working over there. I'm making additional farms for the trees. And I got rid of that building. No, I probably got rid of it. So he put more oak trees down. He's bonkers. Right, so the dark oak tree farm is here. It is one, two, three, four wide. <coughs> one, two, three, four blocks. Six blocks between the dirts. 
and glowstone at the base because I can just buy it off the priest. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven long. That's twenty-eight trees. Which is a lot of logs when it gets harvested. But I've still got all the saplings I need. That's why I'm putting them up and then using the axe to go down, chop them all down. And then get more and more saplings that way. I thought I would finish getting all the saplings I need. It had an unusual design here for the pillar. Because the way it came in, it just sort of like came in the middle of the glowstone, so I just sort of let it curve round like that. Yeah, not the best little thing in the world, but it does the job. Kind of want to make it look natural, but yeah, kind of hard to make it look natural. <laughs> like what I did with the other birch farm, and still with that chicken sitting there producing eggs. That should be a stair. I still get a bit of stairs in here. Should be two stairs right there. But our spruce. You can see I've got a big canopy. The only problem with this is see those logs sometimes they don't have leaves on top and things can spawn up there and fall on your head. But I'm gradually making get more saplings and put building in all the species. I just removed this hill because it was in my way. I'll do all the shaping to make it look natural later. I left the coal there because I'm my fortune on that. People might think it's a waste of <laughs> a fortune pick, but that's so easy to get now. And this is where the oak will go. You can see I've already laid out all the pillars. I've done all the bits here. All I need now is the dirt and the slabs and it and the logs around the outside, and that will be done. I also need glass blocks on top. There are I put glass blocks on an eighth block above each tree to stop it growing too tall. That way I can harvest it all from the ground. The bugger's going to be getting a uh, acacia done. But this stretches out to here. This will be the last one here, and the rest will go that way. Stretch that one in there, remove that mountain that's in my way. And possibly put the other one in here. Just stretching down here, right over the top of the cow farm. <laughs> that actually might be a good idea. Just stretch it across and use the cow farmers as powers. It'll probably come out to just where that is there, so you can get up to it from there as well. Hmm. Might work. I've also got an ice box. It was just an experiment to see if it would work. Because I know you can get ice from ice biomes, but I was wondering if water freezes where the snow forms up there, and it does. So that wee ice box up there to get ice out of. Shush! As you can see from these guys. Got a mushroom island. Well, I did a mushroom island, but I found mine. <laughs> right. Oh right, yeah, that's the safety drop. Oh, we did the bedrock. And it's handily located right now outside the portal. Yeah. Which would be kind of dangerous if you like, you know, walk through and don't realise it's here. Anyway, Mushroom Island. Mushroom Island, that way, and then you go back that way, and you go that way. This is the land of the kill system for the village. Hi. Yeah. Just jumped in there, will ya? I want to make an experiment and just demonstrate to the viewers what happens. No? No? Did you say no? Yeah, that's what happens. There's lava down there as you can see. 
they come through and when the next one comes through it pushes the last guy who's in through that way again and they all knock each other into the lava apart from the last guy but then we push more in he gets pushed in blah 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 ah yeah yeah down there is just where I spawned in originally and moved the boat up and what else is this way? I have no idea uh, oh that was a village down there that's how I got the villagers here in the first place. There's a desert village and I put them through a portal and the main character them all the way up through here. Oh yeah. Hi. Right, this is the way to my brother's base. There's a portal right there. There's also the way to the other fortress and to the strongholds. I gave him some icy though. That is a stronghold here, and that is a fortress in there. <laughs> As you see, I've marked it my stone brick and iron fence as the stronghold. And the portal takes you right here, and somehow I've got water there. Might have been a silverfish. Oh dear, there's a lot of water above. I don't know that last time. I wonder if that if that broke, would it break then for portal, oh, or would it just go right through? Never mind. There was only one eye when I got here. I put three in already, and I need another eight, which I already got from the priest. And I had to come in from underground to get this because the ocean's right above. Oh dear, I can hear a skeleton. And the way in was from just down here. Three more doors that are pointless. Still hear them. And we back that way, is, this tunnel just leads back to my brother's base. You just tunnel from his base because he's not that far away from the stronghold. Tunnel down. And then I heard a boy. Zombies in the wall, and tunnel to the side, and found this bit. Because it was a stronghold where he dug to. Well, part of the stronghold, but it was a very small part. And I heard zombies in the walls, and managed to tunnel in and got to here. And rather than just walking all the way back, that's a port bug with the portal, by the way. Whatever way you go fa in facing, you come out facing 180 degrees. That's back towards my base. No facing. I come out facing away from my base in here because my base is over that hill. That's going to be a staircase. I think he's going to build a staircase up and then make a path all the way back to my base. Yeah. Well, if he keeps him happy, he can get that. And that wee bit there is the tunnel that leads to the stronghold. Shush. He's got dogs already. I've not bothered yet. But I might get them because they scare, they scare skeletons now. Yay! Alright, so he's here out on the edge, building his wee farms and whatever. Yeah? Oh, horses. That's what it is. Yep. And he's got motion. Right, so that's basically what his base looks like. He's not been on much, so that's why it's not very much here. Probably the server run from my house, basically. It's actually the same PC I'm on just now. Oh, hey, did I come out the right way this time? Hmm. 
I made this horse proof as well so he can get his horse in the nuke. Don't see why though, by the time he gets his horse here, it's still got enough 30 seconds to wait before it can go through. But, whatever. And then he gets his horse in, he has to get his horse out of here, nuke through these doors. Oh yeah, that's a bit down here was I don't know if I showed the last time but the horse stables. That's his horse used to be in there. This is my backup horse. This is where that other horse that was doing there came from. And that's my horse. Hey, yeah. Same to you. Yeah. So the next thing I'm really gonna get on with you is like I'm like Will you stop glitching out fences, please? Got two pigs, a couple of sheep, a couple of mushrooms. Going to get the pigs and maybe chickens or mushrooms and make a farm here, just similar to the one there. Except not at granite and andesite, maybe something else this time. Might use diorite, people don't use that much. I'll make a farm here for chickens, pigs, mushrooms, and sheep. See many I can manage to get in. That way I can like, well probably chickens and pigs over here. That way I can kill them and take their all meat and just go trade with them for, and get a butcher or whatever. Have a sheep here and I can get a shepherd, put them in with the, with the sheep and get a sell the wool to him. And I can buy the cord wool back off them. Yeah, finally, instead of having all the different colours of sheep, I'll have a lot of different colours, a lot of white sheep, and sell all the white wool to the shepherd, and just buy the wool I need off them with no emerald to make. Hmm. May work. Hello. Hello. You know you've got a fence post sticking out your head. Yeah, you. Yes? Okay. Right, and I also changed the layout this a bit. But it was seeming a bit square, so I just put a few more blocks in and used the silk touch to get the glass back and move it all around a bit. Yeah, well. Anyway, that will be enough for the day. That's, oops, pardon me, all the basic changes I've done so far. Have you seen any ideas or whatever I've had that you want to use? Go ahead, use them, I don't care, and it's not like I can stop you, but at the same time, I'm not going to borrow too much. If you do, it's nice to know if somebody uses your ideas, to be honest. But most of this isn't my. Well, most days, like, I use other people's ideas and I adapted it to myself. So, I'm not going to play if you use my ideas. Like this. I can't even remember where I saw that originally. Putting fence into carpet into a fence to jump up. This was my idea. As far as I remember, I've never seen anybody do it this way. Like, having like eight. an 8 by 8 with 8 cows in each pen. And then you feed. Shush! Hang on, out the way of the cows. It's having eight cows in each pen, eight pens each, or 64 cows. Just bring along a stack of wheat, feed them all, get 32 babies, and then kill 32 cows. So there's always 64 cows in the, bar, the pens. And the layout, if it's done, whatever, I've never seen that anywhere else, just to be said. The idea that I came up with on my own. And why is there only one, two, three, four, five cows in here? Someone never fed you. And I I'll just pack my system around it as well. I never actually saw anybody do it this way, so if you feel like copying that, go ahead. I'm not bothered. 
well, the path itself, how the path is made, this stair, two slab stair, and that was an idea seen somewhere else, but the way the path crystal goes around inside the cow farm, is what I mean, it goes around, stair way up around again. Right, but using the stairs and the slabs is an idea seen somewhere else, but I've just adapted it to myself. I use wooden stairs and wooden slabs. Uh, I think the original design I've seen was just brick stairs and slabs. And same there, those tree farms as far as I know. I've never seen anybody do a tree farm like that. Where it's just, I think it's just bone meal these days. Or pistons to move the logs to the places they want them, blah blah blah. Damn bunch of wishes. But whereas I do it like this, I could pattern with the moss specifically set a three blocks in between each one so there's enough space for leaves to grow to get enough saplings back. And there's 7 by 14. Uh, I've never actually seen anybody do it this way before. Especially not with the pillars and <laughs> support it. <laughs> uh, that was not actually necessary, I just. It was something to give my brain an exercise on how to do it. And the fences as well. Like this. To go around it to stop it getting in. It should be in all six of them. But I've no got I was kind of waiting to see if they'd give us coloured fences. You know, like. Spruce fences, birch fences, oak fences, dark oak fences, and all that. But no, so I'm just going to put fences, oak fences around all of them. It would be nice, but it's kind of impossible because. I shall show you. Get your dark oak wood, and what you get for sticks? Just sticks, there's no colour to them. So you couldn't really get coloured fences. But however, the fence gate is like that, so I, I was wondering why the f it's like that, but the fences aren't like that, because that would make more sense, because like, there's posts and sticks in between, that would be posts with sticks in between that way, meh, whatever, I'll need the fences anyway, so. And that way you could get coloured fences for spruce, birch, oak, jungle, whatever. See, I like that jungle as well. It goes nicely with the granite. Some people don't like it because it's reddish or pinkish. I don't understand that. And that's slabs on top, by the way, so nothing's going to spawn. Stair, stair, slab. In case you wonder why it's dark up there, I'll no burn to light it up. Oh dear lord, not near again. I kind of like that and the site there for pillars. But there's no um, uh, papyri. Stairs or slabs for it, so I can't really make more elaborate design pillars like I have up there. Or anything. Yes. Like this, where I got the all. Oh dear lord. I've only carved it all this just now, I've not put the walls in, put the ceiling in, whatever. I just started getting the lightning in so I could get to harvest the carrots to make emeralds. I like I've got a stair there, 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 a ring right around the support pillar. And I've got a support pillar. Oh, I haven't finished this one yet. I was meant to put dark oak logs all along up here, like I have in there. And that will make up the... But I can't do things like this, the stairs going around, but andesite or granite or diorite, because they don't have. It would be nice if it was just, even only just polished versions of them. But I know there's a lot of work for them to do all this stuff. 
every time they've got to make a, a new steer or whatever they have to add in a new <laughs> damage value steer that has its own properties and all that. Well, the more you damage value is equal because it, all the steers that are stone typed, like brick, cobblestone, uh, like that, they have their own. It's just basically the same block but with a different damage value. <laughs> As far as I remember, well, like woods, all the wood stairs are the same block with different damage values just to same for the planks as well. And the slabs, they're all the same. All the slabs are the same for the wood ones, but with a different damage value and all that. And you have to do that for this, the andesite granite and the diorite if they want to do that as well. I can understand why they don't do it. A lot of work just to make a aesthetic block, basically. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be able to get episodes out quicker next time because that's me basically caught up to where I was, so I should be able to start getting more episodes in. Alright, so and um, see my new did I show my new skin last time? A wee diamond knife, diamond bracer, which is based basically to spruce up the first person view. And got my Scotland flag still there. And uh, the diamond pickaxe strapped to my back. You know, it's just a wee strap that goes round my shoulder. And this is all body armor parts. So I can turn them on and off at all. You notice when you look down at the Straps of the knife are in fact floating away from my leg and all that. Same for there. The bracer's floating away from my arm. And here too. That here is actually an armor model. It was on top. Right, so anyway, like I said thanks for watching. Next time hopefully I'll be in the and I might record that when I go on the roller. That should be a good laugh because it was his first time in the end, as far as I know. <sighs> I'm trying to warn him not to take anything too valuable with him because he'll probably get knocked off first go by the dragon. Uh, anyway, I should end this episode, so see you next time.